Good morning, friends. Welcome to Connect, Learn, and Grow Together. Today we are making worm habitats. Worms are an essential part of our environment. They're so good for the earth. They dig tunnels down in the ground, which helps the plants to get more water. Their waste helps feed the plants. They convert food scraps into compost for our gardens. And they can be used as fish bait. I almost forgot that one. We like to use fish for fi I mean, worms for fish bait too, if you like to go fishing. So everything you need to make your worm habitat can be found around your house or your backyard. We have sand, we have dirt or garden soil, worms, and a transparent container. I've drilled holes in the top so the worms could breathe, and I've drilled holes in the bottom for drainage. So we're going to layer the soil and the sand, and this creates a nice contrast so when the worms burrow throughout, the children will see um, the two mixing together as, as they burrow. It's pretty cool, they'll be able to watch. Oh, I forgot to mention to cover your surface first. I've got a towel down here so that I don't get our nice tablecloth dirty. So let's see, I'll do another layer of sand. And then you're want, gonna wanna keep it moist, but not too wet or not too dry, but just maybe a spray bottle and you could spray it every day and just to keep it kind of moist. Now, I went on a worm hunt yesterday and I was only able to find one worm because it was so hot and dry out there and worms like damp and cooler weather. So I only found one worm, but I'm going to go out today and look for more worms to add to it because it's damp outside and it might be easier to find worms today. This is a little worm. Come here, worm. There he is. And I'm going to put him in my worm habitat. He's tiny. Go on in there. <laughs> there he is. Now worms like to eat food scraps, but just give them small pieces at a time and don't keep adding until those pieces are gone. Um, they don't like citrus. They don't like salty or spicy or meat or dairy, but uh, peelings from, from your uh, vegetables and fruit are ideal for them. So just give them a few at a time and then um, add more as they disappear. I'm gonna put my lid on so that my worm doesn't escape. And I'm gonna store this in a cool, dark place, either in a cupboard or cover it with a dark towel at, um, so that it doesn't get too much sunlight. That's all for today. I hope you go out and make your own worm habitats and I'll uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.